Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We have got a new update to the game, version 1.7. You can see it in the bottom right. And we've got a bunch of new parts that are added for this one. And we're going to go through all of them in this video. So we're going to go into free build, into the NZXT workshop, because it's new and shiny and purple, and we're going to check it out. All right, so... We're going to go through all the new parts that they added in the 1.7 update to PC Building Simulator. There's a bunch of cool stuff. So, uh, I'm going to kind of go in order of the changelog that they uh, that they released. I'll also put some of the changelog down in the description of this video and link to it as well, so you can check it out for yourself. Okay. No new CPUs. We got that out of the way. We do have some new air coolers and some new all-in-one liquid coolers. So, for the air coolers... We've got three new Arctic freezers. The Arctic's, Arctic Freezer 34? 34? 34? This one? Okay. And the 34CO? Not exactly sure what the difference is there. Those look extremely similar to me. Um, same CFM, same sockets. I don't know what the difference is. Okay, and then the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports white. So that's the air cooler, or yeah, the air coolers, and then our online liquid coolers are all the way down here at the bottom. And actually, oh, sometimes they're good at like releasing things and putting them in order, but I guess not completely. Or actually, maybe they added all of these 34s. They didn't really include it in the change log. Oh, I guess maybe it is. It's every single version of the eSports. So we've got white, we've got green, we've got gray, we've got red, we've got white, we've got yellow. So all of these are our new air coolers starting here. Silverstone PF360 ARGB was added in the last update. And then we've got two new AIOs from ZXT. This is their Kraken Z63 and Z67. So that's like the newer version of their AIO. It's got, I don't know, like fancy temperature monitoring on the block. I don't really fully know. They did already have the old Krakens, the X series. You can see those. Here's the Z series. So that is CPU cooling additions. Motherboards. We have some new motherboards. Um, most exciting part. Well, okay. We, we've got the X299 Dark from EVGA. So we're back on an X299. Uh, but the X299 Dark is like a beast overclocking board. You can see, like, we've got two active fans on the the. VRMs up there, which is pretty sweet. A lot of people use the X299 Dark to beat overclocking records, so that's a really, really cool build, uh, really cool motherboard. Before we had the X299K for the win, and also had the X299 Micro, but uh, this is a very good overclocking board. So that's cool. That's a nice addition there. And then all of the other motherboards that they added, happily, are all X570. So we only had two X570 boards before. We had a couple from Aorus. Uh, I don't remember which ones we had before. Well, I'm guessing it was probably actually the Master and the Extreme, just because when they add parts, they always stack behind. So I'm pretty sure all of our new ones here are the X570 Aorus Ultra, the Aorus Pro Wi-Fi, the Aorus Pro Wi-Fi, and this is a mini ITX, which is super exciting. So we have our first non-standard ATX X570 board, which is super great. So that's our, our only smaller form factor option. We've got Mini ITX X570 Pro Wi-Fi there. Uh, we've got an Aorus Elite Wi-Fi and a X570 Gaming X, which is very capable. Um, 4400 megahertz RAM support is kind of the top end of that. So that's cool, more X570 boards. Of course, they're only, they're only from Gigabyte Aorus we don't have any other vendors yet, but I will take it. I will not complain. That's exciting. So that's motherboards. We got the X299 Dark, X299 Dark from EVGA, and then we got these one, two, three, four, five gigabyte boards. Five? Yes, five. Okay. Memory. We've got new memory. We've got two new types of memory, and it's two types of memory that I've been asking for for a while. Can you guess what it is? Trident? Z, we've got Trident Z Neo, which is awesome because it's pretty sweet looking, and we've got Trident Z Royal, both in gold and silver. It's hilarious. We are going to have to redo the gold and white fab build because I've been waiting for Trident Z Royal in gold to do it. And also, we've got some other fitting, uh, we've got some new fittings that I want to show as well. They're in gold. That'll be extra gaudy and great. So we're going to have to do that one soon. It'll be super fun. 
So that's it for RAM. We've got Neo, Trenzy Neo, just a single color, 3200 speed for all of them, 8 gig, 16 gig, 32 gig kit, and then Trenzy Royal both in gold and in silver, all 3200 megahertz, and again, 8, 16, and 32 gig kits. That's memory. Graphics cards. We have a ton of new graphics cards. And to show them, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom because they're in order, which is super helpful. And I'll show you where we stop because that's kind of honestly the easiest way to do it because we have so many new, so many new cards. Okay. So we already had the 1660 Ti. That's old. Um. Amp Extreme, Zotac Amp Extreme. I'm looking at my thing because it's really hard to keep track of anything. That's also old. I think this is our first one here. Is the EVGA 2080 Super Black Gaming. That's new. The 2080 Ti XC Black Edition Gaming, air cold card. That's new. 2070 Super XC Ultra. That's new. 2060 Super XC Black Gaming. That's new. We got these two cards from Aorus. 2060 Super, 2070 Super. Those are new. RTX 2080 Super from Gigabyte. Kind of like their Windforce style card. Well, maybe not. I don't know. And then an RTX 2060 Super Windforce. That's new. We've got a small little 2060 Super Mini from Zotac, which is cool. We've also got a 2070 Super Mini from Zotac. Awesome. I like seeing the small cards. Those are fun for some small, small form factor builds. And we've also got a... Z uh, let's see, a 2080 Super and a 2060 Super, both from Zotac as well. Two fan and three fan variants. And a 2080 Super Amp Extreme from Zotac. A 2080 Super Twin Fan. And a tw uh, our 2080 Ti Amp from Zotac. Oh, and also a 2080 Ti Amp Max, which is a two fan. I, it's weird that the Amp and the Amp, the Amp Max has less fans. I, I don't know. It's crazy. And then we also have a blower card. A 2080 Ti blower style card also from Zotac. So that's like a whopping, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 new graphics cards, I think. Ish. It's a bunch. It's a bunch. Super cool, though. So we got a ton of new air-cooled cards, which is really awesome. And we have one new water-cooled card, which I need to show. And it looks sick. So we had all these ones already. Now we have the RTX 2080 Ti for the Win 3 Ultra Hydro Copper Gaming <gasps> from EVGA. <sighs> super, super sick. Beast. It looks awesome. I can't wait to build with it. It looks crazy. Uh, obviously, it's RGB lighting. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's graphics cards. Uh, okay, what else do we need to go over? Let's see. we got lots of other things. we got cases, case fans. we got some water cooling stuff to show. Let's show water cooling. Okay, so if any of you guys know, Corsair has their own water cooling kits now. It's called uh, Hydro X Series. It's their custom water cooling solution. So they brought that into PC Building Simulator. And that's cool, because I love new water cooling. So that gets us a 120 rad, a 140 rad, a 240 rad, a 280 rad, a 360 rad, a 420 rad. We've never had a 420 rad in the game before. Now we have a 420 Raz. We've never had 420. 360 was as big as we've ever gone. It's as big as we've ever gone. But yeah, 360 was the biggest we had, right? So that's exciting. 420. We've also got a 240. That's fine. 360 and a 480. Finally, we have a 480 Rad in this game. And I'm going to also show you in a little bit a case that they added to the game that I think supports a 480 Rad. So this is also super, super exciting. And uh, potentially we could put this in the Ragen Tech Enyo, which is, you know, kind of like one of the most ridiculous cases in the game at this point, as well as the uh, Obsidian Series 1000D from Corsair. That would also be a good candidate for a 480 rad, but like a few of them. So that's so cool. So we've got water cooling for Corsair. We've got all these radiators, more radiators than any other vendor in the game, which is sick. We've also got a couple reservoirs from Corsair. They're XD5 RGB in black and in white. And we've got a bunch of CPU blocks from them as well. And I, I was looking at these earlier, and some of them are so similar. So we've got their um, LGA 1151 and AM4 sockets in black and white. Here's a Threadripper block here. There's the white. Here's the black. But then we've got their 2066 blocks. And then we have, like, there's the XC7, and then there's the XC9. And, like, 
This is the 2066 block, XC7, XC9. I cannot tell you what the difference is exactly. Those look extremely similar. So I don't really know what the difference is. I guess I could look up like Corsair's actual products and see what the difference is. But anyway, um, there's all those. So we've got all these blocks from Corsair as well, which is super exciting. We have looked at GPUs, pipes doesn't change. Uh, I don't think coolant changes. We do have some new fittings from Corsair. This is where I was telling you we've got some new exciting fittings. We've got their Corsair Hydro X series fittings in black, in white, in silver, and in this amazing gaudy gold color that I cannot wait to use. It is so bad. I love it. We didn't really have like a good gold fitting. We just had copper. So that, ooh, it's going to be so awesome. So there's that. That's water cooling. Ooh, uh, whoops, hello. Okay, we've got a couple case fans. We're just gonna talk about very briefly. I think they maybe got this wrong in the change log. Uh, they added this new MSI one, the MSI Mag Max F20A-1. It is a 200 mil RGB case fan. So it's a really big fan. It only fits in a few cases. That's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. Also, I think they added the Mortoni Heataway Pro RGB 120. I don't think this was in the game before. And it's at the end, so I, it looks like it's a new addition. Um, in the in the change log, they said that they added an MSI RGB 120 and an MSI RGB 200. I see the 200. I don't see a 120. I see more Tony's 120. So this might be the new one. I'm not exactly sure, but that's it. That's case fans. All right, what else? Cases. We of course have cases. I want to first show some really quick peripherals. We got a couple new keyboards from EVGA, the Z10 and the Z10 RGB. Okay, cool, cool. I guess we could throw a Z10 RGB out. Or, no, I can't. Never mind. And then mice, we've got three new mice. We've got the EVGA Torque X5L and the EVGA Torque X10. Very interesting looking. And a Razer Mamba Wireless Edition. So there you go, that is peripherals. The only thing that we have left to check out is cases. And cases is very exciting because we've got a brand new vendor, a vendor I have never heard of until today, a vendor called Colink, Colink, K-O-L-I-N-K. We'll go to the very end here and then we'll scroll up a little bit and bounce around. Okay, so this was added in the last update. Here's where the new stuff starts. We've got Corsair's IQ220T RGB, both in white and in black. That is a mid-tower standard size case. We've got cases from Colink, four cases total. The Colink Ethereal, the Colink Observatory, the Colink Observatory in white, the Stronghold in black, the Stronghold in white, and the Colink Big Chungus, which is a full tower. All of these others are mid-towers from Colink, but the Colink Big Chungus is a full tower. And this is one of the this is the case that I think would support at least one 480 rad. And we are gonna check that out in a different video. Not this one. I know you wanted it now, we're not gonna do it now, we're gonna do it later. But that one is insane and it looks hilarious and crazy and I can't wait to build it. It's so insane. Uh, we also got the XL version of Lian Lee Lee's O eleven dynamic. So the Lian Lee Lee O eleven dynamic XL S, both in black and in less black and in white. Black, white, less black, I don't know. Yeah, and then we've got cases from MSI as well. We've got their MPG Vampiric, and then we've got the Secure 500P, the Secure 500X, and the 500G. And it really looks like, basically, it's just an external kind of styling difference between those, those different variants. And then we've also got, this was not in the change log, but it's stacked at the end, so I think it's new, the Rasian Tech Selenos? Selenos? Uh, that's also new. So, full tower, which is cool. Must be a pretty pretty big boy case there. Full tower there. Bunch of mid towers from MSI. Obviously, the O11X, uh, 11 Dy Dynamic XL is a mid tower. We've got a massive full tower. Big chungus. We've got a bunch of mid towers from Colink and Corsair's IQ220T mid tower case. So, that's all the new cases pretty sick though so that's everything new in the 1.7 update to pc building simulator um i'm kind of running long here so i'm not going to build anything yet but i will be back soon you can count on it with another video where we're going to build something 
from from the 1.7 update we're going to use a bunch of these new parts and we're going to see how they look all put together in a PC so be sure to check back for that very soon and I will go ahead and put the change log link and everything down in the description so you can check it all out hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful um, and if you did go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one and either way thanks so much for watching guys I will see you in the next video see ya